Hi guys, so today I'm going to go to a place called Derwent Reservoir. Um, it's just coming up to four o'clock in the afternoon. Sun sets at about half past six. Uh, it's about a 40 minute drive away from my home. So I'm gonna get there before the light disappears. Um, it's grey and overcast once again, as it always is this time of year here in England. So, I feel like it could be a black and white image uh, on the dam wall, maybe. Hopefully, we have had a bit of rain, the dam may be overflowing and there may be water coming down the dam wall, which would look really good in black and white, I think. So, let's get going and I'll catch up with you as we arrive. Catch you in a bit. Hi, so we have made it. It's five past. Five past five, and so it's still grey, we've just had a little bit of rain. Um, so it was about an hour and a half until sunset. Although, looking at the skies now, I don't think we're going to see a sunset. So, I think like the original plan was to get a black and white image of the dam wall and maybe have a stroll up the reservoir as driving in the water looked rather uh, calm with some good reflections, so hopefully we could get a nice shot with some reflections. I'll show you using this camera, just what the sky looks like, so as you can see it's rather flat and grey. So I'll have a quick stroll around, like I said there's about an hour and a half left of light, um, so without further ado i'm going to get my boots on get my jacket this time i've remembered my gloves although it's slightly warmer than it was last week um and yeah we'll have a quick stroll around see where to take some shots from so see you in a few minutes guys but first coffee got to doze up on the caffeine All right, see you in a bit. of the dam just at the other side of the wall and as you can see it's absolutely gorgeous. So there's a nice mist forming on the uh, water there. So I think I'm going to go for a shot facing this way and may go over towards the dam wall as well. So let's get set up. Okay so this is the composition I've gone for, and there's another composition that I'm going to take just over that way. But first, this composition, so I can feel what I'm doing. So, I've got the dam wall with the two dam buildings either side. Uh, going for long exposure, I've got a couple of graduated um, ND filters on just to slow down the exposure and a ND8 filter on the lens itself just to really slow that shutter down. I'm going for a 1 minute 30 second exposure just to try and smooth out all the movement in the water. There's not much movement in the water but the smoother the better I believe it's going to look. So we're just waiting for this exposure to finish which has got about 15 seconds um, as you can see, I don't know if you can see on the uh, video but over in this direction looks to be a little bit of a mist forming on the uh, on the reservoir so hopefully once I've got this shot 
I'm going to spin around, it's just finished taking that shot. Um, I'm going to spin around, see if we can get a long exposure that way, and see if we can get that mist into the image. So, let's have a quick look, see how that turned out. So, as you can see, let's get it full screen. You can see that. Looks pretty good. Quite happy with that shot. Right, so, let's get set up for the next shot. So, I'm just going to set the camera up and I'll be back with you shortly. Okay, so I've got the camera set up in this direction, as you can see. So, I think this shot should be pretty good. Um, again, a long exposure, about 1 minute 30 seconds. I've got it set for, see what happens with that. Same setup as before, so now back. F16 ISO 100 and the two grad filters as you can see they're the cooking ones and a ND8 filter on the front of the lens just to really slow down that shutter and reduce that light. I believe this way the sky may look slightly better. So yeah just waiting for this shot to finish oh and there we are the shot's in let's have a look so that is what we have. I think it's just a tad too bright. Let's have a look at that histogram. Yeah, I think it's. I'd rather go too bright than not bright enough, but I think I'm just going to reduce that shutter down ever so slightly. I've got the um, Myops mobile device on top here, which you can see. Pretty good. You can once I um, cancel that exposure, you can set whatever exposure you want. So if it's longer than 30 seconds, um, so we're going to go that one, one minute 30. So we're going to go one minute uh, 10 oops, daisies when I do it right. One minute and 10 seconds. There we go. So let's press that. And there we go. Okay, so that shorter shutter speed was in with only one minute and ten seconds, and this is the result. Which I believe looks far better. So, what time are we on? We're on ten past six. So it's about twenty minutes, and the sun will have set. So I'm just going to hang about another. Five ten minutes or so. Um, see what happens. See if any colour comes into the sky. I very much doubt it, but I'm not in any rush to get home. So we shall wait five ten minutes. See if we can catch anything else. Who knows? We shall wait and see. Catch you in a bit. guys I think that's it I think I'm happy with the shot I've got I'll quick show you again this is the final I've changed my composition ever so slightly just went in a little bit tighter at about 40 millimeter um, so and this is the image I've captured let's just get that on screen for you uh, I don't know if you can see right on there but Nice reflections in the water. Um, not much detail in the sky because, like I said, I didn't think it was going to go off and it obviously didn't. But, can't wait to get this image back into Lightroom. Just increase the contrast a little bit and see what we can do with it. So, yeah, I'm going to head back to the car now and I'll see you when I get back into the studio. So, thanks for watching the video. If you've liked it, please hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the little notification bell if you would like to be notified of my next video, which will be the follow-up to this one where I'll be editing the images that I've captured. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in the next one. See you all later. Bye.